crafting and faith related videos. Today, we are going to get ready because I need to get ready and I'm gonna bring you guys along with my handy dandy makeup here. I will take you step by step into seeing how I do my makeup. So let's get into it. First, let us put our hair. My hair is wet. My clip, literally, it's a butterfly. And I'm gonna put my hair back. Cause we don't want the hair getting in the way. All right, first step is I always do sunscreen every single day no matter if it's raining or sunny, you always do it. And I'm gonna do a little bit of hemp oil. I like putting oil on my skin. It kind of preps your skin and gets it ready. It on my skin, it just helps really make everything nice and and glossy so yeah I don't use primer because again I use I use my sunscreen to prim, prime my face so then we're gonna do come on now boom one dot <laughs> because you don't need a lot of sunscreen but yes this is probably the most anti-aging thing you can do for yourself is sunscreen every day because not only are you getting the radiation from the Sun but you're getting radiation from your phone, if you work on a computer, everywhere, basically. So, with this foundation, but we can always warm it up a little more with our bronzer. So that's good enough. Just broke and the top fell off. This is bright pink, as you can tell by the name and the actual color, it is very bright. So, with blush, I do put on a lot on because it never stays on focus there you go yeah it really never stays on so it's gonna fade in a little bit I also grab my powder brush and if it is a lot I kind of tone it down a little bit I think I went a little overboard on this side but this is actually from my mom she found it at a garage sale, so I took it. So brows are tricky. They're always tricky. I don't know if you make them look good. Make them look bushy. If you want them to look bushy, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty easy. Just kind of fill her out, okay? This looks weird. Doesn't look as weird though in real life. Okay, once that I have a Tarte palette that literally just fell the other day. It was tragic, but one of the, the shades, crumbled. but I'm going to use this shade right here. Hope you can't really see it, but it's like a matte brown, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my lid right here using my Real Techniques eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna take, let's see, I'm gonna take this pinky one right here. Hold on, let me lower the light a little bit. Like this pinky one right here. That one, and then I'm gonna take either this one or this one. Like one, two, and three right here, okay? And I'm gonna put one on the inner crease, one on the like the middle crease and then the inner crease right here and then I'm gonna do the other one I'm doing it down I'll just show you because it's too confusing for this I am gonna take my finger and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this so I'm taking my middle finger kind of sm swatching the color there and then I'll show you put it right in the middle Actually, we're gonna go up with this color up here. I like shimmery, shimmery shades a lot. 
I just really like how they look right in the inner crease. Same thing. I'm using a different finger so I don't get it all gross. Like that. And then I kind of bring it down a little bit to make it look all blended out. So that's how that looks. Then the last thing for eyeshadow is I'm going to take this shade right here like the darker one and I'm going to put it under in my lower lower lash line to put some of the lash primer on this makes a difference. I thought it used to not make a difference, but it really does. This is the last step, and this is the Lancome. What is? How do you say this? Monsieur. Monsieur. I don't know. Do a little lipstick. This is such a pretty color. Yucks. <laughs> what do you say? It's so hard, but it's from the Laura collection. Alright, last. This takes like what five minutes because I I do a lot of coats. That is it. All right, well, we are done with um, getting ready. Hopefully you guys learned something. Hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully it was a little entertaining for you guys. I'm on this journey of trying to find natural makeup and organic stuff. I really am intrigued by natural makeup and switching over to more natural products. More like 10% of my makeup collection is natural like my oils and my sunscreen and a couple other things are more natural but i do have to finish what i have i don't want to be wasteful and just throw everything out that i have and then go buy natural stuff i'm gonna wait till everything that i own is gone um my friend just gave this to me and she's like you told me that after you said you're gonna switch to natural so it's okay i'm still gonna use this stuff i just would love 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 to get all natural makeup in a collection of natural makeup so that's gonna take a while and I know it's a process it'll be a process but I'm so grateful that you guys were able to stick around and hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one bye